In our last video, I showed you how to make hand sanitizer. And while this may work because you have those ingredients in your house already, I realized that many stores are completely out of isopropyl alcohol, the active ingredient in the solution. However, there are other ingredients that I've noticed that are not out of stock anywhere that I've gone. Also, because washing your hands is actually more effective at combating bacteria and viruses, I'm gonna show you how to make soap with ingredients that are definitely still on the shelf. Also, making soap is just really fun, and it'll give you something to do while we're all on lockdown, and it'll remind you to keep washing your hands. There are so many different ways to make soap, like so many different recipes, but I wanna start with one that's really easy and simple. Here's what you're gonna need. Olive oil, coconut oil, and some other oil. We're using sunflower oil for this DIY. Lye or sodium hydroxide, but make sure to get the one that's made for making soap, not the one that's a drain cleaner. Welcome back to Nick's Garage. Today, we're gonna be showing you how to make a lovely, soft, nice lathering soap. And after that, we're gonna get some liquid nitrogen and blow this place up! If you wanna make sure to create a nice soap, just follow these simple instructions. Set the number one priority, better usual even during pandemic. Lye is not something you wanna mess around with, and that's no lie. <laughs> but for real, um, this is the same stuff. Sodium hydroxide is actually used as a drain cleaner. That's what it's like purpose mostly is outside of soap making. You just don't wanna mess around with it. You wanna make sure to wear gloves and goggles. If you're a kid, you definitely wanna be doing this with your parents because this portion of it, uh, can definitely burn you. Nobody wants to burn. All right, so you're gonna take one fourth cup of sodium hydroxide, and you're gonna add that to three quarter cup water. But you're gonna do this very slowly, and you're going to make sure to do this in a ventilated space because it definitely gives off fumes, and the fumes definitely choke you out. So don't stick your face in there. It's, it's not an awesome sensation. Eventually, when you're done mixing, it'll go back to clear. This reaction gives off heat. It's 180 degrees. We want it to cool off, but we don't want it to completely cool off because we want it to be warm when we mix it with our oils. Step two. That was really <laughs> fabulous. Step two. <laughs> I should have my own cooking show, man. This would be awesome. Could have my own competition science show where we cook stuff with science. Walter White. We're gonna take two thirds cup of each one of these oils and we're gonna put it into this container. One, and that's good, a good, two. Good, 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 good. One, two. It feels like chalk. Very chunky. Well, there's one. Looks like pickles. Like, hey, Roomba, stop. That's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next step is putting this weird concoction into the microwave for one minute. Keep me such a science doggy. The doge. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, that's looking good. Some of the goodest things that I've ever seen. So it's at 188 degrees. Um, smells great though. All right, it's cooling down pretty quick. All right, out to the garage. All right, now when both liquids are around 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius, you mix them together. So until then, you just kind of hang out. Step three. This is our lye solution. It's around 113, around 135 degrees Fahrenheit. It's close enough. You want to get them close to 100 degrees so that they mix properly. We're going to do it anyways. This is also the stage where you can add your essential oils. We have the eucalyptus. Oh, that smells so great. You're just supposed to put a little tad in here, but it's really up to you how much, how strong you want the smell. That's a lot. <laughs> um, just in general, I just like love making soap. It's just kind of one of those things, like fun fact, I love making soap. I did a video in the past where I wanted to make soap look like potatoes and it was a total miserable fail. Then I made soap with the Smosh Squad out of French fry grease. All right, so you want to slowly add the lye into the oil mixture. You should definitely see this color change. It should, like, should start looking like, like popcorn butter. The process of saponification is starting to happen, but this mixture is still very caustic because of the sodium hydroxide. So you still wanna make sure you don't get this on your skin because it hasn't fully reacted yet. Now you wanna stir for five minutes manually first, then you can kind of amp up to one of these guys right here. And then you'll keep mixing until you get to a point called trace where this mixture is gonna look like pudding. 
So you can see how it's already starting to look like it's getting thicker. It kind of looks like scrambled eggs now. And you're just gonna wanna keep going, keep going, keep going until you get to where the consistency looks like pudding. All right, so step four is pouring this out into a mold. This is just like a, like a cooking pan for making bread. It can be really anything. Scrape that all out because you want to make sure you get all your shape. And you don't want to be touching this. It hasn't fully reacted yet. It's going to take about 48 hours for it to fully react. Definitely want to have gloves on during this step. Flatten it out. All right, now we made this little silicone play button triangle. So I'm just going to go ahead and place it in here. I presume that once it dries, we can just pull it out. But I just want to make a little indentation when it comes time for this to be fully done and cured. Then we'll just pull it out. All right, so we're going to wrap this up in tinfoil and then wrap it up in a towel. And then 24 hours later, we're going to take this out of the actual pan itself and cut uh, the soap into bars. Soap! It's a little soft still, but that's good because then we can cut it. The next step is we want to take out some parchment paper. See, that's what we want. It should just kind of flop right out. We also want to take out our play button here. Well, wow, that was like perfect. It's a big bar of soap. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let this dry, but uh, that right there is our play button soap. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna flip it upside down. Cure so it dries on the back side as well. This whole thing back up and covered. Come back, 24 hours. Okay, so it's been another 24 hours and our soap should be cured. So at this point, it should have dried. It shouldn't really be soft anymore. And right there's our little play button. <laughs> Nick, you asked for passing 100,000 subscribers. This is for passing 100 hand washes. Congratulations. You did it. <laughs> And while we're on lockdown, we're gonna be making a lot of videos because literally we have nothing else to do. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you really soon. This soap is really good. Lathers well, it smells like eucalyptus. Man, we really did well. Happy birthday to me. Actually, my birthday's coming up. Happy birthday to me on March 30th is my birthday. Happy birthday! Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok and please say happy birthday to me since I can't go anywhere because we're all on lockdown. Happy birthday to me! That's really good ladder. Woo!